Alright guys, what we've got here is another 1HD. This has come to us with a different aftermarket chip on it. I've put it on the dyno, I've done a before run to get an idea of where it was. Since then, removed the chip, we're now wiring in a uni chip. I've got Harry in the car doing the uni chip. I'm out here doing the boost control. We'll get it all set up, back on the dyno for some power run shortly. Okay, one of the cool upgrades that we offer with the 1HD package is this little electronic boost controller controlled by the uni chip. What it means is it basically picks up the boost between the turbo and the wastegate and allows us to change that boost level that goes into the engine. Doing this, it gives us full 3D boost control. Okay, so we fitted the uni chip to this 1HD. I did some before runs using the other chip that was fitted to it, then standard, and of course, live tuned it up on the dyno using the uni X. I'll give you a detailed rundown on the results. So previously with the other chip on it, it made 100 kilowatts. Now this is measured at the rear wheels and it's got front hub lockers in it. So it made 100 kilowatts and about 300 Newton meters of torque. I then removed the other chip and did a standard run on it. It still made, it peaked at 100 kilowatts. There was about a five or 10 kilowatt gain down low and about 20 Newton meters difference across the rev range. From there, I fitted the uni chip, ran it up, gave it a live custom dyno tune. We're now at 127 kilowatts, so it's picked up 27 kilowatts and the torque is around about 470 Newton meters. So about 170 Newton meter increase in torque. So really big difference. It'll change the drivability of the car. Customer's gonna be wrapped.